In North Idaho, you have 76 lakes that are within an hour of Coeur d'Alene, and all of them are incredibly beautiful. But as you know, it's never cheap to buy a home right on the water, no matter where you are. So in this episode, I'm gonna answer the question, how cheap can you get a place on the water here in North Idaho? Stick around. <music> Hey everyone, my name is Trent and I'm a Realtor here in Idaho. If you're interested in learning what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work, play, and buy real estate here in Idaho, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so every time I come out with a new video, you get notified. Now guys, I have to apologize. It's been a few weeks since I've posted a video, but I have some good reasons. Last week, I got hit with COVID and I seriously thought I was gonna die of boredom. It was so terrible. I miss doing these videos and I'm back now feeling healthy. It really wasn't too big of a deal, but I do have something else that's going on that I got to tell you about. Uh, a few years ago, I was doing a lot of extreme sports, snowmobiling, snowboarding, skateboarding, and I got a labral tear in my hip that I didn't know about. So I've been dealing with severe back pain for many years. I finally got an MRI and found out that, yep, you have a uh, tear in your labrum and it's got to be surgically repaired. I'm actually going into the doctors today to find out exactly what it looks like. But from the research I've done, it's not super invasive, but it's going to be a few weeks of recovery and I'm going to be on crutches for at least a couple of months. So with that said, if you guys are serious about moving here and you want more information and you want help get moved here, I have a team that I run in my real estate group. So it's the Living Life in North Idaho real estate team. I have an assistant. I have realtors that are very professional. They're excellent at what they do. They're just as knowledge knowledgeable as me. So don't wait while I'm out. If you are serious about getting moved here, now is the best time to start doing the research because come spring and summer, it gets absolutely crazy and we wanna make sure that we can help you. And if you do really wanna talk to me, still call in, talk with my agents, and just let them know, hey, when Trent's feeling better, have them give me a call. I absolutely love talking to you guys, so I will definitely call you. So make sure you reach out with a phone number or a phone call, text, email, and we can get you all set up. Now guys, after watching this video, I wanna hear from you in the comments if moving to Idaho and living on the lake has been your dream, and if these price ranges are something that you could actually still do, or if they're now out of reach. I know for me and my family, that's a dream I've always had, and as those prices continue to go up, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. I'm still hoping that I come up with a really brilliant idea and make a uh, million dollars off of a pet staple or something. I don't know, there's all kinds of stupid ideas that are successful, so I'm sure I can do it. But yeah, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. Is this something that you're serious about doing? And which lake out of all the lakes I show you is the one that is the most interesting to you and the one that you could see yourself living in. So leave a comment. So let's dive in guys. The lake that I'm obviously gonna start with, you could probably have guessed it, Lake Coeur d'Alene. I see it every single day. It's where I spend most of my activity when I'm out on a body of water, either boating, stand up paddle boarding, fishing with my kids, or swimming. What I really love about Lake Coeur d'Alene, it's 25 miles long. It feeds right into the Spokane River and there's plenty of stuff to do. There's parks that you can pull off on your boat right onto the dock and go play. There's restaurants, there's shopping, uh, there's two golf courses that overlook it. So it is one of the more busy bodies of water here in Idaho, but it is gorgeous. Now, with that said, being 25 miles long, when I tell you how the cheapest price that you could probably find on Lake Coeur d'Alene, just know that's gonna be down south of like Whirly area. That's probably about an hour from Coeur d'Alene depending on the weather and traffic. So the lowest price that I could see in the last six months was $800,000. Now that's really gonna be more like a cabin. You're gonna have a drive to get out there. Awesome if that's what you guys are looking for, but if you are wanting a house that you could live there year round and have your family and maybe do VRBO when you're not there, you're looking a lot closer to the 1.5 million and up range. But either way, 
Coeur d'Alene Lake is gorgeous and honestly probably one of the best investments as far as finding uh, a home on the lake. Next lake we're covering is Hayden Lake. This is the lake that I probably spent the second most amount of time in because it's so conveniently located. It's also a lot smaller than Lake Coeur d'Alene, which means that it gets warmer sooner. In Lake Coeur d'Alene, sometimes it can take until June, July until the water's actually like decent to swim in because it does stay pretty cold. But in Hayden Lake, you can have warm enough temperatures in May, June where it's comfortable to go swimming and there's really good fishing out there. Now, there are a lot of homes on Hayden Lake and so when I tell you the lowest price, just know there are parts of the lake that aren't as desirable as others. So when you get way up into the north point of the lake by Sportsman's Access, some of those areas the water can go down quite a bit and it isn't suitable to get your boat off of your dock. So out there you can find a home for around a million, but if you want something that's closer to town, that's easy to get to and the water stays high enough for using your boat all year long, you are definitely closer to the 1.5 million. But either way, if you can afford it, Hayden Lake is one of the most desirable lakes to live on here in Idaho because it's so conveniently located. It's not super big and so it doesn't get super busy, but yeah, it's awesome. Next is the Spokane River. I go boating on the Spokane River a lot because it does connect to the Coeur d'Alene Lake. So if the lake is really choppy and windy, you can get onto the river. It's a lot more calm usually, but it does get kind of busy. So you do have boats going back and forth, which can create a little bit of a hazard. So you got to keep your head on a swivel. Now there are two different sections to the Spokane River. You have the Post Falls Dam, so anything above that you can go boating on, you can do swimming very easily, and you can get to Lake Coeur d'Alene. Below the dam, you really can't do any boating. You can do canoes, you can do stand-up paddle boarding, and you can do you know uh, rafting and things like that, but you can't take a boat. So when I tell you the lowest price, just know that house is below the dam and you cannot get a boat on it. Last year, and I actually talked with this lady, she did not use me as a realtor, but she liked my videos so much, she's actually referring her friends to me. She already had a realtor by the time she found my channel, so that's okay. But she actually got the cheapest house on Spokane River in the last year, and that was at $750,000. And it's awesome. I mean, I looked it up online, she got a killer deal. But if you wanna be on the upper part of the river that leads into Lake Coeur d'Alene, you are definitely going to be in the $1 million, $1.3 million range to be able to have something that's right on the water. Next is Lake Fernand. Lake Fernand is right next to Lake Coeur d'Alene. There's literally just like a little bit of land and a freeway that separate the, the two. The cheapest you can be on Lake Fernand is 1.5 million and there are very, very few listings. For people that live in that area, that's where they wanna be. It's centrally located, it's a beautiful lake, but there is a downside to that lake that I should tell you about. Lake Fernand has an algae problem. They have blue-green algae blooms that happen almost every year, and if you don't know about blue-green algae, it is toxic to humans and animals if consumed. So you can still swim, you can still boat and stand up paddleboard and fish, but you just do not want to get that water in your mouth because it can make you ill. So if you like to live on the lake, but you don't like to do lake activities, I think Lake Fernand is a great place, at least until they get this algae problem fixed. I don't know what it takes to fix it, but they definitely need to do something. Next is Twin Lakes. Now Twin Lakes is up past Rathdrum and just below Spirit Lake. It's a really small lake, but it is beautiful. You have the Twin Lakes Golf Course, there's condos that overlook the water, and there's a few homes that are right on there. Again, there's not gonna be a ton of listings for this lake, but it is still somewhat affordable at $800,000 to have a house right on the lake. Again, when people are there, they don't often sell, so the listings don't come up that often. But if Twin Lakes is an area that you're serious about doing, there are ways that we can go and uh, find out if anybody is potentially wanting to list their home before they even get on the market. So just reach out to us if Twin Lakes is a place that you could see yourself living. Next is Spirit Lake, just above Twin Lakes. You do have the small town of Twin Lakes that has a lot of rural living. And Spirit Lake is considered more of a smaller lake but it is really, really gorgeous. This is not for everybody because you do have about a 40, 45 minute drive 
to get to Coeur d'Alene, uh, about 20 minutes to get to Rathdrum, so you are gonna be out there quite a ways. But with the lowest price to get something out there at $550,000, it is fairly desirable. Now I will say, at the $550,000 mark, the houses that I saw that closed in that price range, they had not been updated since the 60s or 70s. They do need a lot of work and it really is more of just a cabin. To get a decent house that doesn't require a ton of work, you're starting at about $850,000. But for those of you who've lived in Tahoe or areas you know, down in Denver or anywhere on the water, you know that that's actually still very, very affordable. And Spirit Lake, I think, is still kind of that rural small town feel that everybody seems to want right now. So it might be a great place to check out. Next is Priest Lake. Now to me, Priest Lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in Idaho. There's not a lot of stuff out there. You have the town of Cooling, just these really, really small towns in that area. And you just have these gorgeous homes that line Priest Lake. And the reason that they're so gorgeous is I think that it's so far away that anybody who's living up there, usually they're remote workers or they're CEOs and they've got plenty of money to build these gorgeous houses. There are some cabins up there, but with a starting price of 1.2 million, it's definitely the upper echelon of people that can afford to live out there. Again, it is one of my favorite lakes. It's a two hour drive from Coeur d'Alene, so you really don't get a ton of people up there because there's so many other lakes, why drive two hours if you don't have to? But it definitely made our list because it is one of the most gorgeous areas in Idaho. Last is Lake Pend Oreille. I know it looks kind of funny, it looks like Pend Oreille, but it's actually Pend Oreille, it's French, and Pend Oreille is the largest lake in Idaho. It's about 65 miles long. It goes all the way up to Sandpoint, a little bit past Sandpoint, all the way down to Farragut State Park, which is in Athol. So when I tell you the price that you can start looking and find something, it's usually because it's down in the Sagal or Athol area, Bayview area. And so it's not in the most desirable places. So at 895, you can find a house on Lake Pend Oreille, but if you're looking up in the Sandpoint area, you're definitely going to be in the one and a half million starting range just to find something because Sandpoint is such a desirable area. But I love Lake Pend Oreille. Anytime I can go there, that's the lake I choose to go to uh, when I can drive that far. It's about an hour to get to it, but it is the cleanest, most beautiful lake. It's huge. They actually do submarine acoustic research search testing in that lake because it's 17 over 1700 feet deep really really good fishing and it goes on to the Ponderé River so there's plenty of stuff to do whether it be sailing or windsurfing or boating whatever you want to do you can do it on Lake Ponderé so guys that is it that is the lowest starting price that you can get a house on the water here in North Idaho let me know in the comments what you thought. I hope that you liked the footage. I drove around. That's actually my favorite part of doing this is that doing these videos, it takes me out to the lakes. I get to enjoy the scenery and try to capture it at the right time. Obviously you can tell not all of the lakes were filmed during sunny days because during the winter we don't get too many of those, but I feel like I got some pretty good shots. So let me know. And if you are serious about getting moved here to Idaho, reach out with a phone call text or email. We love helping people get moved to this area because it really is one of the best places ever. So guys, until the next video, I will see you later.